Hello, everybody, and welcome to my 10-month review with the Apple iPad Pro 11-inch 2018 cellular 256 model from T-Mobile. You get to see the back first, 12-megapixel camera, True Tone Flash, and a microphone. Then you move down to the Apple logo, the iTunes uh, wording along with serial numbers and model numbers, the smart connector, the cellular antennas that they have to do in rubber so that it gets through the aluminum. The left side, all you've got is one microphone and nothing else. Some other antenna bands. The bottom, you got the USB-C connector uh, with two different mics or speakers. Moving to the top, you see another two speakers. That's stereo speakers with two other microphones. Power button. Moving to the right side, volume rocker, Apple Pencil charge spot, and a SIM tray. I'm not using it because I'm using eSIM on board. So then we move to the front of the device. You can see this awesome bezel as it goes out of focus, which I'm very sorry. The awesome bezel, which I think is just enough that it's not too much and not, not enough. Because you want to be able to hold it with one hand or two hands and not have to accidentally touch the screen. They have accidental response cancellation. But I think that if they went any smaller, it'd be really hard to hold. And you'd have a notch. Right now, it, all the features of Face ID, the camera, the ambient light center sensors, all that is wrapped up into that single a band that goes around the outside and it's unnoticeable as a notch unless you have a screen protector like me hey there's those sensors going off all right so that gives you a review of the physical unit has it withstanded time yes i have a small little uh, let's see if i can focus on my finger there's like a small nick right here you can't really see it but it's right there that's there, and there was another one with uh, lighting. I, I want to say it's like right there on the edge. Um, this little feature of awesomeness is my screen protector got a little dust underneath it, but it's been on there for like a year, so it's okay. It's not worth taking it off. There's no bubbles under this. I took 30 minutes to put this on without any bubbles or anything. It was awesome, and I feel very proud of myself. So... Wow, oh, 10 months with this. Having the first generation 12.9, having the second generation 12.9, and then dropping down to the 11 inch model on the 13th or on the third generation, I was skeptical. I had some issues trying to get my hand on a 12.9 inch from T Mobile. They had to mail it to me, they didn't have it in the store. I was like very antsy. I wanted to get it right away. It was the more. Like, I don't know. I would say it's the more requested model, but then I say that, and honestly, there was a little bit of delay on the 11-inch models, but I tried twice. It kept being pushed back. I canceled the order, and then I ended up going to t call T-Mobile and said, what about the 11-inch models? I know you only got 64 in the store. I need 256. And they said, hey, it'll ship out tomorrow. You'll get it in like a day or two. Or it, it'll ship out in two days. It won't ship out the day of. It shipped out like the day later. And I got it like next day. So three days I had this puppy in my hands. Or two days. Um, I immediately started using it. iCloud backup. Restored it from the second generation. Sold my second generation to a really nice guy who loved it. But this unit has been more portable than the 12.9 inch. With this awesome, and I'm bringing it in now because it's time, this new keyboard smart, cab uh, smart cable, Apple smart keyboard cover case thing. It's got two different angles to put the iPad in, so it can be more flat up and down, or it can be more angled like you're typing on a laptop. The smart connectors are here, along with the smart connectors on the back, so that's where you get your little bit of battery uh, consumption, I mean, very minor battery consumption. You got the cutouts for the uh, camera, microphone, and flash, which is fine. It literally just snaps right in. Just put it over there and, oh, it didn't make a loud noise, but it kind of lines up. There's over a hundred little um, 
Blah, blah, magnets inside of this that coincide with magnets in the case so it really just lines up it can only be in one place and there it goes it lined up uh i like the clickiness of this keyboard it's not too much it's not it's not too much and it's not too little i think it works i've been using it for 10 months whenever i need to type something big i usually use this because i can go anywhere in the house and use it or on the fly this iPad goes with me everywhere, and I've not had any bend issues. I know there's a bend gate situation for the last year. It is very minimal aluminum, so even though it's aluminum 7000, you're dealing with a lot of weak points. Like, for example, right here, you've got it cut into the aluminum with this little plastic frame. So if you bend it right around here, it's going to bend. Um, here's another weak point right there. Nothing on this side. And nothing on this side. But once you bend those two points, you're loose, You're weakening the frame of the unit. So uh, when I'm not using the Apple Smart Cover here, I have this $7, $14 clear rubber silicone case. It, I've never dropped it with this on anything like hardwood or pavement. But on the carpet and stuff, no issues. It falls off the couch, whatever. Um... And then I was talking about the screen protector. Super cool, super awesome. Um, I had these on the previous generation iPad Pros Tech Armor. And I'll zoom in on the information. iPad Pro 11 inch 2018 Anti-Glare 2-Pack. So the Anti-Glare really takes care of fingerprints directly. Um, you see them kind of, sort of, but you don't see them like you would if you were just looking directly at the glass, which is all I care about because I guarantee this case with the little scratches that are all over the place, those would be on the glass if I didn't have something like this. So I'm very proud to say I love this screen protector. And before they came out with the paper aid and all that stuff, which are screen protectors that make it feel like paper, Tech Armor has been doing this for all three generations. And when I use this, it really feels like freaking like paper, like I'm writing on paper. So it, it when you're using it on the glass, it definitely glides way too fast. And I can do that here on the camera section. But when I'm on here, the the resistance is just like paper, which is awesome. And it was way before this company came out and said, well, we're making it you know, to make it work for what you guys need. So it's like, well, it's already kind of there. And you can see this special feature on the Apple Pencil. You double tap the top area here, and it becomes an eraser. And then you tap it again, and it turns back into the pen. I forgot to show this off. Ooh. I forgot to show this off before. All right. So there's something easy that is apple notes so i can't go over everything i have got on here but loving call of duty mobile on the ipad pro i love that you have key uh you have the touch screen and then you have the gaming controller support xbox and ps4 um is just awesome main apps on the bottom you can see itunes store which is really just the Everything, you know, movies, music, podcasts, etc. The App Store, iMessage, which I use either with my iPhone 11 or just email uh, address. The Apple TV app with the Apple streaming service because I got an iPhone 11. Disney Plus I got for a year because my parents have Verizon. Netflix, mail, Discord I use always, all the time. YouTube, Spotify, Chrome browser. Google Photos is my main. You can see photos up there. And then a whole array of more. Something that came out uh, not more than like two months ago. Adobe Photoshop Full. So there's been a lot of guff being thrown at Adobe for this. That it's not the full amount of all the features. They just launched it. It's taken them a year. It looks good. It runs well. They'll add features as they go, I hope. But I'm proud that it's on here. I've used, you know, Fix and Mix and Sketch and stuff like that to get things done. And I'm really happy to say I'm going to start using that app very soon as I learn more. And others. But going into 
iPad OS 13 3 beta. I love the new screen layout. I love the multitasking additions, multiple of the same apps running with different things. It's just been a breeze. If someone came up to me and said, what iPad should I get right now? I want it to be close to an uh, uh, computer, but not. This would be the one I'd recommend. I know they've got the Air. It's a little cheaper. If you're not looking to spend that much, go for that. But overall, a year with this thing or 10 months has just been amazing. And I do it again today. Who knows when the next one will come out. Keep an eye. Comment, subscribe, like, share. Let me know what you think. Let's start a conversation in the uh, comments section below. Thanks, everybody. And we'll look forward to more videos in the future to come. Bye, guys.